Hi, Linda Anderson here from Linda Lou Creates, and I'm so happy you joined me. Today, I want to share the directions on how to make this awesome pocket easel calendar. Now, here's the front of it, but let me show you that it will sit on your desk or work surface because we've inserted this little easel in the middle here. And I just think this is fabulous. Yeah, I guess I do need to change the month on it. So anyway, um, I actually made this in uh, one of my stamp classes uh, for January. So I wanted to share the directions then on a video. Now this uses petal pink for the cardstock color and the Parisian blossoms for the uh, DSP. I'm gonna change it up a little bit. So let me just kind of set this one off to the side and let's get going on the supplies you're gonna need. First up, as far as the post-it note holders, um, just, you know, I get mine from Walmart, Amazon, any of the above. The pen is from Amazon. It measures like four and a half inches. I had just Googled mini pen and I ended up, this was the pack that I got here, this brand, and um, I'm just partial to black ink, so that's why I got that. So that's the pen from Amazon. Now the calendar itself, there's various places that you can get. Um, I ended up just Googling mini calendars, and I found an Etsy shop that I liked the size of the calendars. So um, I ordered from there. So there's the calendars. Okay, cardstock. It is a top folding card, essentially, is what it is. So we're talking 11 inches by four and a quarter, with your score line being right in the middle at five and a half. Now, for that easel section here in the middle, this measures four by four. Now, I have it scored, it's a half an inch from either side, and then straight down the middle at two inches. So there's the score lines for that. Now for this, the pocket on the front, yeah, I have already uh, put on some of the tear and tape. So this measures five and a half by four and a half. Couple score lines, so when you have the five and a half side up into your scoring tool, you're gonna score it at two and a half, and at three inches. You're then going to turn it so that the four and a half inch is up at the top. And here again, you're just going to score at half an inch from each side. Okay, so that's the pocket for the front. And now the designer series paper. I'm going with the Tropical Oasis today. And the first piece, this is measuring four by five and a quarter. Now this smaller piece, which because it's double-sided, I actually used the back from this design. This piece is going to be where, as you see here, on the pocket that's on the front that holds your pen and post-it notes. This size will depend on the size of your calendar. All right, so kind of go with it there. Based on my calendar, I cut this DSP down. It's um, three and a quarter by two and a quarter. Okay, so let me go ahead and get started so let's pull in the calendar base um, I'm gonna forewarn you I will probably call this the card base so <laughs> because it is it's the same size as a card base but just know that I mean the base of the calendar or the calendar base so let me go ahead and just adhere this down use your favorite adhesive here and just be careful because this one does have a direction to it, so I want to make sure I have it going the right way. Okay, so now I'm going to pull in that uh, easel then that's four by four. And first up, I'm going to score it, or excuse me, fold it along that two inch score line just right down the center. Okay, so let's fold that in half. Now, these little half inch score lines, I'm going to fold, but this time I'm gonna fold it back on itself. And you're gonna see, yeah, I went ahead and I already, to save time, put on my tear and tape. So let me go ahead and using my bone folder, make a nice crisp fold. So when you're done, it's gonna be 
in this shape. All right, a W, I don't know. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to remove the release paper off of one side here. Okay, so open up your calendar base. Now from the bottom, I am going to place this, I'm hoping you can see it, pick it up, I don't know, maybe an eighth of an inch up, and then even on either side of it. So, and then press it down. So you can see I have it about an eighth of an inch, maybe a, a little less than quarter of an inch on either side. Okay, so now fold it down. Let's peel off the other side. Now with it closed, just bring your calendar base down on top of it. And there you go. Now it is adhered on either side. Okay, let's set this aside for a second and we're going to get working on that pocket for the front of the calendar. Let me just kind of pull it back in so you can see what I'm talking about. Now, here we go. A couple little snips that you have to make. So here, where this little square is, we're just going to snip and snip. Now, I like to go at an ever so slight of an angle, so I, and just sort of, I don't know, I call it mitering it. I don't know what the word is, but I take a, a little bit of an angle. Let me just put it down here so you can see it, so that that just seems to fold nicer for me. I'm gonna do the same thing, so here we go. I find where that score line is in the middle, and I snip once, snip again on both sides here, just ever so slightly. And you see I am just cutting up to that half inch score line that's there. So here I have my two tabs now in the middle. Okay, so before I actually fold it up, I have found it easier. I determine one side to be the front and one side to be the back. So on the front is where I'm gonna put my piece of designer series paper that eventually my calendar will get attached to. So I just go along the score lines and just center this up. And now I know which one is my front, okay? And like I said, to save time, I've gone ahead and I have put my tear and tape. There are times when you want to use tear and tape. It is a very, very heavy duty adhesive. And um, I want that on a couple places. Yes, remember we did it for the easel because this might get pushed around, open and closed. On the box, the pocket rather itself, when I attach it to the calendar base, because you have a heavy post-it note and a pen that you're going to be pulling in and out and when we attach the calendar you're going to see that I have tear and tape on the back of that as well because we're going to be pulling this off. So anywhere there's lots of, of action so to speak going on make sure you use a heavy duty adhesive there. So let me go ahead and now burnish these score lines here. All of them. So and the ones here in the center. So you're starting to see that it's gonna form a little box then. So the tabs in the middle will go up. Now here again, I like to determine which is my front and which is my back, which we already have. So my front, those tabs are gonna finish on the outside so that they're pointing to the back, if that makes sense. So this is what I like to do. Here, I like to use my liquid glue. It gives me that little bit of wiggle room time. Okay, so I am going to put a little bit of on the tab, a little bit on the outside of the back. Okay and then let's fold it all up. And making sure that we're nice and even here. Okay, 
And if you need something underneath, use your bone folder, turn it on so that it's against a solid surface, and really push that in until the glue gets makes good contact. Okay, so let me show you again. I put the glue on the tab and on the back piece here. I was going to say on the front of the back piece, but I was afraid that would be confusing. So let's pop up our tab, then the piece in the back with the glue on, and then from the front and adhere it down. Okay. So there we go. Now we have our little pocket done. Okay. So I'm going to pull back in my calendar base. I have a couple things here um, I want to do. I have my post-it notes. I found that if I put them in, it gave me a solid surface to push against that whenever I attached it to my card base and then my calendar on top. So go ahead and slide that in. I'm going to go ahead and start releasing all of this paper here. So. Um, this is one place where you don't want to be stingy with your adhesive. Don't be afraid to lay it on there. And like I said, use the heaviest duty adhesive that you have. So, I do like the tear and tape. Okay, one more here. And now, I don't know, about... Oh, about half an inch from the bottom is where I'm going to attach my pocket. Do you notice when I'm concentrating, I stop talking? So <laughs> just making sure that it's nice and even. And there you go. So like I said here, to push it down, that's why I went ahead and put the uh, post-it note tablet in there so I have something sturdy to press down on. For my calendar, again, please do not hesitate to put on your adhesive. So, you're probably tired of seeing me pulling off all of the tear and tape paper. Um, but, this is the best adhesive for this. So, let me get one more. And now, just center this over top of your pocket. There we go. Now you just need to kind of push the post-it notes off to the side and the pen will slide right on in. So here we go. This is Here's one with the Tropical Oasis paper. I love the brightness of that one. So here's that one, and here is this nice one with the petal pink and the more, the softer, the subtle uh, papers than on that one. So, so that is the pocket easel calendar. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write them in the comments. I'll be happy to get back to you. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I post new videos every Thursday, so I don't want you to miss out on anything. Um, I will have these projects on my blog, along with the measurements and the score lines to help you out, uh, as well as a link to this video. So hop on over there. It's lindalucreates.com. So thanks again for joining me, and I hope you get a chance to create today. Bye now.